Faze on Gugapflix. Why does that sound so familiar? And I'm a senior software engineer here at Faze on Gugapflix. All oh, right, these guys. I never did hear back from them. Update on your application? Why are they rejecting me now? I know it closes email, finds you well, and then it updates your application. Blah, 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 blah. Congratulations. On site? Why are they only telling me this now? Oh. Okay, never, never mind, that's that's pretty valid. All right, time to start leak coding then, I guess. Oh, whoa, leak code? You got an interview coming up? Yeah, it's tomorrow actually, but I'm super nervous. It's It's been a while and I'm honestly not feeling really prepared. Oh, well, it's probably because you're not using Leak Code Premium. Oh, doesn't that just give you access to more questions or something? Yeah, but it also lets you see which questions were most frequently asked by individual companies, so you can see what face, face on whatever typically asks in their interviews. Wait, really? Yeah, and they also have detailed video solutions that guide you through the problems, because I know you need those. What? Why are you only telling me this now? Because this week is their Black Friday sale. So from now until December 2nd, you can get $30 off an annual subscription to LeetCode Premium using the link in the description below. Description? Who are you talking to? I'm right here, just tell me. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Good luck, good luck. Can't believe it's 2024 and we're still doing virtual interviews. Hey, congrats on making it through the first two rounds of interviews and welcome to your virtual onsite here at Face on Google Applix. In this interview, we're gonna start off with some quick intros. I'm gonna ask you some questions about yourself. We'll jump into the technical portion after that and I'll leave a few minutes at the end for you to ask me questions as well. Sound good? Uh, yeah, sounds great. Perfect, I can go first. My name's Claude. I'm a senior staff principal engineer two on the Disaster Recovery Incident Prevention Engine team or DRIP E for short. I joined the company about three years ago back when this team first started and we're focused on making sure that our code base is always strong and resilient. Anyways, enough about me. Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? Yeah, of course, my name's Nick. I'm a CS major at Waterloo in my senior year now, but I was a freshman back when I first interviewed here. This summer, I interned on the Rainfall Reliability team at Umbrella Labs in New York. They're a startup that does Uber for umbrellas, and yeah, super excited about joining Faceon Google Gaflix. Wow, that's super cool. Can you tell me a bit more about why you're so excited to join our company? I mean, I haven't gotten any other interviews over the past three years and I'm about to graduate, so I kind of need a job. Plus, you know, it's always been a dream of mine to work at a company that builds a B2B SaaS product that's really just a chat GPT wrapper. Yeah, I just really resonated with the company's mission of empowering businesses to streamline their data by leveraging bigger data. And I also heard amazing things about the company culture and all the interesting things that you guys get to work on from my friend who interned here a few years back. He actually referred me for the role. Huh, interesting. I only had one intern three years ago but I think he left before I started. Anyways, can you tell me about a technical project that you're proud of? Projects? I haven't done those in years. The last one I did was a to-do list app that I copied from a Mernstack YouTube tutorial in freshman year. It can be a personal project, but also from school or work. Oh, okay. I guess I can just talk about my intern project from the summer then. Yeah, so at my internship at Umbrella, I built a sophisticated machine learning model that analyzes weather data, satellite imagery, and real-time atmospheric conditions to predict rainfall patterns with 99.9% .9 accuracy, and it allowed us to optimize our umbrella distribution across the entire New York City. Wow, that's super impressive. What sort of impact did this project have? Yeah, we actually ran an A-B test for it, and we saw a 300% increase in user engagement and 76% increase in revenue. The, uh, the CEO even personally congratulated me for it. And if you had the chance to do this project again, what would you do differently? Well, to be honest, the first version of my algorithm actually had a bug in it and kept reporting 100% chance of rain all the time. So our users just kept requesting umbrellas, but not actually needing them. And this led to a bunch of customer complaints and late fees that we charge for unreturned umbrellas. So I think next time I tweak my algorithm a bit and increase the weight of the real-time atmospheric conditions data and just check if the sky was cloudy in real time and use that to show the rain forecast. Ah, okay, I see. That, um, that makes sense. Thanks for sharing. I think it's time for us to jump into the technical portion now. Ah, oh, finally time to show off my lead code skills. Number of islands, trapping rainwater, and queens, no problem. Now you're probably used to typical lead code style interviews like your early rounds, but we've changed our on-site questions three years ago to make them more aligned with day-to-day -day work. Oh, what? No lead code? So like, system design? Okay, so for this question, let's pretend that you're an engineer on the Disaster Recovery Incident Prevention Engine team, and I'm an intern trying to delete your company's code base. How are you going to prevent that from happening? 